Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here. I was about to record a video about the rumours that a WB are developing a Batman Beyond animated movie uh, comparable to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I did record the video a couple of times. I kept on making mistakes and stuff. But then by the end of the video, I had another theory. Maybe this Batman Beyond room is connected to the Batman. Now bear with me, bear with me before you turn off and start throwing tomatoes via your computer. Shame we can't do that yet. By the way, it'd be fun, wouldn't it? Imagine the YouTubers just soaked with tomatoes. I'd be one, wouldn't I? Anyway, right. Picture this. We've been imagining with all the talk about what uh, Matt Reeves has said about the Batman, how... It's a Neuer style, a younger Batman being a detective. Maybe it's actually about a younger Batman in the future. Think about this, right? So we're in the future, right? And Ben Affleck's Batman in the future, a very older Bruce Wayne, trains a young man, which is the same as the Batman Beyond film, into being the next Batman. Then, not only do you have the Jokers, which is a gang the Joker builds up, and everyone thinks the Joker's dead, but he comes back and we find out why. And the big challenge for this younger Batman is to go against, go up against the Joker. But instead of the Joker's gang, the Joker has actually got the kind of, all, all the kind of Batman villains to join his gang and go against this future Batman. Could this be what's going on could an investigation into how the joker came back from the dead be the investigation that proves that this future batman is actually the great detective like batman's always known for so could this be about a future batman rather than batflick in the past and maybe this is why these batman beyond rumors are coming out now, it could be true. They could be actually developing a live action movie. I mean, an animated movie. I mean, it would be a very excellent decision by Walter Hamada. Walter Hamada is not just in charge of the DCEU. He's in charge of everything. So very, very interesting. But I just felt that because of these Batman Beyond rumours. Now, we know that Matt Reeves has already said he's not adapting directly from Batman Beyond or any graphic novel. But he doesn't have to. He can. He said he's taking bits and pieces from different graphic novels. I think this could be what he's going to do and why he's casting a younger Batman. Now, as I said in the DCEU Daily, I believe that Ben Affleck is going to be in this movie. We have seen no evidence to the contrary that he's not. Everyone's saying he's left, but nobody has been quoted as to, from Warner Brothers, from Matt Reeves, from Walter Hamada, no one's come out and said, this guy has left. No one. Why? Now, we know he's still executive producer of this movie. We know. Because those things have been signed up and sorted. You can't undo those type of things. That's why Zack Snyder's still um, a producer, an executive producer on Wonder Woman 1984. And I think he, the Suicide Squad movie as well, he will be a producer, which is already set in stone because those arrangements and agreements were made a couple of years ago. But I still believe that um, Ben Affleck will be in this movie. And I do think that my little Batman Beyond theory could come to fruition. As I say, it doesn't have to be directly from Batman Beyond. It can just be that Batfleck, an older, a very older Batfleck, is training a new, younger Batman. What kind of Batman this is, uh, what character it is. They can take the character from Batman Beyond and train him. Or it could be anyone. And then this... And then he talks about this transformation, doesn't he? Now, I still think he means a f some kind of transformation outside rather than inside. So I think, look, this is just a theory. This is not from any of my sources. This is just me spitballing here. Because I do think, as I say, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so convinced that Affleck will have a very small role in this film. But a role he will definitely have. I totally believe that. I think that's always been the case, but he won't be the main character. He won't be the main actor in this film, but he will play a very pivotal role in training a younger Batman. And this is the way they can kind of get out of what they've got now. So I want you to think about this very carefully. There's, there's the multiverse um, kind of option 
which where they can either get someone from the multiverse or this DCEU leaps into another multiverse that's that all the Batman and Superman and Green Lanterns have disappeared from and they come into it. Something can happen. You could do that. Or you could just jump to the future where this older Bruce Wayne is training a, a younger Bruce Wayne. But what if this younger Bruce Wayne goes to the back to the present day and then for some reason the older Batman is killed in the future? And that's that. Affleck's finished. We've got this new younger Batman. It could happen. And I don't see why not. Because we're all so focused. Because when we heard hear Noir, now this is interesting as well. When you hear Noir, you think black and white, don't you? Will this be the first comic book movie to be filmed in black and white as well? Could be. I mean, if, it's, if, if I'm wrong and it's set in the past, we could have this. Now, there is a version of Logan shot all in black and white, and it really does work. They could do this, or they could actually shoot this film in black and white. Now, this would be extremely controversial with fans, but it, it would be amazing. I think we do need to be more imaginative with CBMs now, because of, um, not necessarily with the DCEU, but with Marvel, it's the same direct, generic stuff all the time. Now, Avengers Infinity War was very compelling, very dark and very exciting, but the rest of them are pretty much the same. So what would I think if I heard that the Batman was shot all in black and white? I'd be excited. I'd be excited. And I think actually a lot of you diehard Batman fans would be kind of interested in that as well. But what if the if let's say I'm wrong about Batman Beyond, I'm wrong about him, an older Batman in the future training a younger Batman. Let's just say is in Batflex past. The flashbacks, right? Which is gonna be spend a lot of time, the most of the film. Uh, if you listen to rumours, would be in the past. So why can't the past bits of this younger Batman be shot in black and white, while the present day is shot in colour? Because um, when I hear Noir, I do think black and white. Now, I know that doesn't necessarily mean that. Noir doesn't mean black and white. We know what it means. But it will be a very interesting way because Matt Reeves is a very inventive, creative guy. He likes to put everything he can within the camera. So it would be very, very interesting. So let me know what you think. Do you think the rumours are true about a Batman Beyond animated movie? Or do you think this is a smokescreen and we're getting a Batman Beyond type Batman film when a bat, an older Batfleck trains a new young Batman to deal with the Joker and, and, and the Jokers, which could be kind of the, the, the gal gallery of villains joining the Joker, right? Could it be that? Or could it be my other theory of having the Noir kind of younger Batman scenes shot in black and white? It could be anything. As I say, I'm just spitballing, but just let me know what you think in the comments. Please like and share the video. If you want, it would make me extremely happy.